<laughs> you are joking. If you formally identify the man you saw that night, we can proceed with the trials for the murder of Robbie Nichols. You locked me up for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. We're doing a good deed for telling you to kill the lad. And now you want me to stop your case falling apart? I know. I'm sorry about what happened, Mike. I have a pocket full of sorries, Miss Phillips. You tell them who you work for. Hell will freeze over before I do anything to help. You're all right. You don't have to do anything to help us. You didn't have to do anything to help Robert Nichols that night. He had a flat tire, but you did. And who helps me? Who helps me tell Fiona that her family were wrong about me? You act as if none of that other stuff ever happened. You lied to the police. I know what Marsh is capable of. I should be on honeymoon in Portugal. You're a good man, Mike. Who did the right thing and got screwed for it. Most people would have walked past Robbie Nichols that night. But you didn't. I'm appealing to that decent person who did the right thing and stopped to help a stranger. You have an opportunity to help Robbie Nichols again. Only this time doing the right thing puts his killer behind bars. Matt. There's no need for introductions, right? Hi, Mike. Sorry about, uh, well, we were just doing our job. Can I get you a cup of tea? You've done enough, mate. We do appreciate you doing this, Mr. Jones. They're ready for you now to do a formal ID. Let's get this over with. OK, John, thank you very much. Mike, we're going to run this through twice for you. If you see the person you think you saw on the night of Robbie Nichols' murder, just let us know. That's it. You're certain that's the man you saw? Yeah, I'm certain. I've got to take this. Fiona? What? Look, stay calm. I'm on my way. Mike, what's up? Fiona's been attacked. I was just walking down the street. There was this man. He said you'd had an accident and they'd take me to see you. Would you recognise him if you saw him again? It was all so fast. I was worried about Mike. And there was another man in the back seat of the car. I started screaming. He slapped me. He said, he said if you talked at the trial, he said he'd kill you. I think you should go now. You need to talk to the police, Fiona. I don't even want her talking to you. You have to give them a full description so they can deal with this. My police. They knew I was at the police station. They knew she was alone. We can help you. You could start by leaving. Now, hiding in your flat isn't the answer. You heard what happened in broad daylight. Anything could have happened in the back of the car. The only way to end this is to face Mars down. The only way to end this is for me to keep my mouth shut. I've told the police that, and now I'm telling you. That's what Marsh wants, and that's what he's gonna get. Please. Fiona, please think about it. Our material witness. That means I can get a witness summons. If you don't attend court and give your evidence, I'll make an application, I'll have you rearrested, and I'll force you into the box. You do that. So Jones gives 